Hey Smiley's, been super busy living offline you guys. Hope you missed me because I missed you. I'm back with an update on the dread tutorial which was one of my very first videos. I think it was video number three to be exact. And they were just two months old then and here we are now. These are about seven months old. So do you know what that means? We are seven months into our dread journey already. And things are getting real we've had a lot of growth as you can see um, I've been retwisting about every two weeks that seems to be a good schedule for us I ended up adding a red dye to about five rows in the back just to add some color I think it turned out great I do wish I would have recorded it but I didn't so I'm sorry about that guys but I just used the cream of nature exotic shine hair dye and the color is intensive red I'm still using the same products from my tutorial, the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel with black castor oil and flaxseed oil. It also contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. It's alcohol free and it's said to promote hair growth. I like it because it doesn't flake and it's anti-itch. We did try using Browner Brothers. Uh, tropical roots locking gel as well I actually like the consistency of this gel better it's slightly thicker and I like that so here's a close-up you can see the hair is actually beginning to lock so that's exciting we've come a long way smileys we haven't washed it at all at first dreadlocks should be washed sparingly or not at all but I've seen a lot of different opinions on that some people say that it should be washed often at first, so it's completely to your discretion. I would judge by the texture of the hair. But we're definitely out of the budding stage, and the hair has begun to form dreadlocks. So this is called the locking stage. So we're in the locking stage, guys. We do get a bit of dandruff, so I try to keep the scalp as moisturized as possible. I'm still using the Brana Brothers Tropical Roots Stimulating Growth Oil, which promotes healthy growth while adding shine and moisture to the hair, so that helps a lot. It's a great product. But basically, my process is to apply a bit of gel and twist, apply a clip to keep the dread in place, and repeat until you've gotten the whole head done. You know, if I come across any areas that we have a lot of buildup and dandruff, I just scratch it up with a fine tooth comb and put a bit of oil on it and move on. And that seems to work for us, you know, so far. All right, it's time to wrap this up. We are down to our last two rows here. Uh, this took about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour. And I just decided to give them bangs here. What do you guys think? Huh? Uh, eh, maybe not. <laughs> but I can't wait to see what they look like as they get longer and longer. He keeps the sides really low so it's a mohawk and I actually love this style. I think it looks great. But be sure to stay tuned into our dread journey. I'll post a follow up probably at nine months. So in another two months, I'll do another video. We're not gonna wash for the first full year. We don't plan to. Um, this dandruff does need to subside, but the technique that we've been using to take care of the dandruff has been working so far. And this is his favorite part anyway. Who doesn't like to get their scalp scratched? And the front is the worst. It turned out great.
But thanks for tuning in, smileys. Be sure, be sure to stay tuned to the Dread Journey. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Here's our finished product. So this is after I blow dried them a little bit with the clips in. And I just removed them. And here's what we got. See you next time. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.